it. Um, so yeah, good afternoon everyone and thank you for joining us. Um, welcome to our third edition of Albumworks Presents, which is part of our ongoing live webinar series. Uh, my name is Naomi and I'm a member of our customer service team here in Melbourne. Um, so now that we've all been stuck at home for a while, hopefully everyone has finished their spring cleaning and you're ready to start or continue working on your photo books. Um, we want to make this an interactive session, session, so please feel free to ask questions along the way. To ask a question, you should see the webinar control panel on the right hand side of your screen if you're on a computer. You can type your questions into this dialog box and send it. If you're tuning in on, on a phone or tablet, you should see a question mark at the top right of your screen, which you can press to type a question. And I'll make time at the end to answer your questions. Uh, so in this series, I'll be working on a download on the downloadable editor on a Windows computer. The Mac version of the editor is the same, so Mac users can follow along as well. Today's webinar should run for about 10 to 15 minutes, and the topic for today is adding and editing text, which is not coming up on my screen for some reason. <laughs> um, there we go. Um, so I'm going to be looking at adding text, formatting text, um, saving your text style and proofreading your text. Okay, let's get started. So first of all, um, I'm just gonna bring up a project in the editor, um, which I have started. So bear with me while I bring that up. Okay, so you, hopefully you should now be able to see my um, editing screen. It's just a brand new project and I've opened up a, a blank double page. Um, so to add text to a page, it's fairly simple. All you need to do is click on this white T with a plus sign on it. And what that does is add a text box to the middle of the left page that you're working on. You can easily move that text box. You can just click on it and drag it anywhere you want on the page. Um, and you can also make it bigger or smaller by clicking on the blue dots on the edges. I can make it as big as or small as I want. So that's fairly simple. Um, formatting text. So you can, um, there's, there's formatting the text itself and there's also formatting the text box. I'll go through formatting the text first. So to add text, you just double click on the text box and it brings up a little cursor in the top left hand corner. Um, I can start typing. I'm gonna, oops, I had done a, I had already saved my style, so it's in purple, excuse me, don't worry about that. I'll explain that soon. Um, so I've decided to just write happy birthday. Uh, I can change the font on the right hand side of your screen. There's a range of fonts you can choose from. Um, the fonts that are available are whatever fonts you have installed on your computer. So um, if you add fonts to your computer, you will have them available to you in this list. Um, you can also change the uh, whether it's bold or italic, you can do that here. D it depends on which font you're using. Some fonts don't actually have a bold or italic style and so that it won't give you those options. Arial does have that available to it. You can also change the sizing. So I can make it bigger, smaller. Uh, and I just realized to actually change the, <laughs> excuse me, to change the, um, the font size and style, you have to highlight the text that you've just typed in. So to highlight it, just drag your mouse from one edge of the text box to the other, or the text rather. And then if I change it to a 10 point font, it's very small. Um, if I want it bigger again, I'm just gonna make it a nice big font so I can see it, because it's gonna be a heading. Um, I can also change the color of the text. So I can choose these colors or I can click on other. Um, I can click on define custom colors and I can choose from a whole range of colors. Um, here, I'm just gonna add that custom color and click okay. And it's now pink. Um, there are also some other uh, options for um, 
editing your text. What I'm going to do is just add a, a big paragraph of text so that you can um, see this. It will help with this explanation. Uh, I'm going to add another text box to my page. I'm going to pop it over here and I'm going to drag the edge out to make it quite big. So if you've written, say, a whole paragraph of text, um, you, firstly, you don't have to write the text in our program. If you want to use a program such as Microsoft Word, you can use that and then you can copy and paste it into our program. So for example, I've got the man from Snowy River over here. Uh, in, it's in a Word document and I want to copy and paste this text into my document in album, into my photo book. Um, you may find it easier to work in Word if you have got a lot of text because you have a spell check, which we don't unfortunately have in our program. So I'm going to highlight all of this. I'm going to copy it, uh, Control C, or you can right click on it and say copy. Um, I'm going to go back to my project, double click on my text box, and I am going to paste it. So to paste it, I just press Control V on, oh, actually, sorry, you can right click on it and click paste. It's just a little bit slow at the moment. Um, it is taking a while to paste, but it should appear, there it is. So with a large amount of text on the right-hand side, you have some options here for spacing. You might wanna change your margin size. So if I use this little slider, it, puts it close, it more in the centre of the, the page. Um, I can change the character spacing. Um, so if I want this, oops, that's not actually, sorry, I probably need to highlight the text again to do that. <laughs> um, I can change the character spacing, well, and make it really wide. I can change the paragraph spacing to make the paragraphs more spaced. And the baseline, it actually adds to the bottom of the, the spacing, but it's probably something you wouldn't use. If you don't like what you do, you can just change them all back to zero in these boxes here. Um, down the bottom, you can also change the alignment. Um, actually, I'm just gonna make my text a little bit bigger so that it's, yeah, that works, okay. All right, so at the moment my text is going from left to right um, and it is left aligned. I can change that to be centered. So that a lot changes the alignment to centered. I can change it to be right aligned um, or I can justify it. And you can also, you can click on this one and it says justify it with, left, with the last line left aligned. So each paragraph, it, the words are justified except the last line. So you've got, options there. Um, you can also decide whether you want your text at the top of the text box, in the middle, or at the bottom, or going or the, um, spacing it evenly in the text box. Um, you can also change your the alignment of, <clears throat> excuse me, whether you want your text going from left to right on the page or up and down the page. So for example, with my happy birthday here, I'm gonna double click into it and highlight it all again. And I can choose downward left to right and it makes my text go downward. I'll just make this text box bigger so that looks a bit more sensible. Um, and that, that works quite well um, if, if that's something that you want to do. So there's quite a few options there. Uh, you can have a play around with those. Um, next, I was going to talk about saving your textile. I'm actually just going to undo what I've done here because I'm not so keen on that. <laughs> um, right. Now, if you've Say you want to do a lot of text in your document, but in um, you might just want to put a little caption on each photo. So you want each caption to have the same style. What you can do is create your first um, your first text box. Choose your font, choose your size, choose your colour. Once you've got that sorted, double click into the text box and right click anywhere inside the text box. And my computer's being a little bit slow, but in a minute, it is going to come up with an option to use current style as default text style. 
When you click on that, it means that any boxes that you add from now on will have that same text style. So if I add a new text box and I start typing into it, oops, it's going to be the same font, same colour and same size. Um, so that's quite useful. Finally, I was just going to talk about um, proofreading your text. So I'm just going to make this text a normal size. You might want to, a 12 point font is usually a good size for reading when it may look small on your screen, but when it prints out, that's a normal size that you would, if you're writing a letter to somebody. Um, it does depend what font you use. So for example, um, yeah, an Arial 12 point font is, is a good size for reading. Um, so if you want to just make sure you haven't made any spelling mistakes, you can zoom in on your page. That's one way to do it. Um, here you have a zoom button, which you can keep clicking and it zooms. If you want to make your page really big, you can click on the view menu and then maximum zoom. Oops. And so, yeah, it's on my left page at the moment and now it's on my right. I can see what I've written very closely. To undo that, just click on the view menu and then minimum zoom again and it goes back to normal. The other way that you can check what you've done um, is using the um, proof, uh, sorry, creating proofs. So if you click on the file menu, you can create proofs here. Um, it's just doing a quick check of my page pages. I'm just going to click continue to that because it's all okay at this stage. It is best to proofread for proofreading to do it as a multi-page PDF. So change your output format to multi-page PDF. At this stage, I've only done work on pages two and three. So I'm just going to select that page, but you can just choose the whole document if you want. Click OK. Um, where do I want to save the proof to? I'm just going to put it on my desktop save and then I click OK and it's saving that page to my desktop in a folder. When I open that folder there's my PDF which I can open and it does say proof copy on it. Um, it's also low resolution but it means you can read your um, text. I can zoom in if I want to just zooming in on your computer the normal way you'd do it. Um, zoom in, zoom out, make sure you read it. And you can swap between pages. So I could have this open on, on one page and then I can um, move back to my uh, Albumworks project and make any changes. If I find a spelling mistake, I can just switch between the two screens from here to here, uh, just using Alt-Tab on a Windows computer. Um, one thing that I did forget to tell you is that you can also make changes to the, the, the text box itself. So I've got happy birthday here. Um, I've, I'm going to put a photo on my page um, that I want to go behind, behind my text. I'm just going to fit to page. I'm just going to also arrange and send that to the back. So I've got my text in front. So I've got my text here. I'm finding it's a little bit hard to read on that background. So I can actually change the text box itself. So when you're editing text, you double click into it. When you're editing the text box, you just click on it once so that you've got these blue dots around the edges. And then on the right hand side, I have options here. And I want to change the color of my text box to white. Okay, that looks a bit silly. So I'm going to first thing I'm going to make my text box smaller so that it's haven't got the white all over my photo. I'm also going to add some opa transparency or change the opacity of the text box so that it looks a little bit nicer. So as I make that a bit more opaque you can see it, it highlights the text but it's you can still see the background in behind it. Um, so that's quite useful to use. All right um, I think that's all that we've going to talk about today. Um, if you can just wait for one moment while I check if we have any questions. Um, I'll be one moment. Um, okay, somebody 
I think is probably have, uh, having problems with the actual webinar. They might not be seeing my screen, so I probably can't help that one. But if you do want to give us a call afterwards, we can try and help you with it. Um, one question that I have there is adding text to, how do you add text to your spine of your book? Um, that's quite a good question. So I will show you how to do that. So I'll just delete what's on there. So when you start a book, um, we most of our templates already have a text box on the spine. Um, you'll see it here, it's got double click to edit. The easiest thing to do is double click on that text box start writing something and I can see already that I've gone over the edges of, I've, I've got a text overflow, which means that my text is bigger than the text box itself. So to fix that, I'm just gonna click, see it says text overflows box. So just click once on that text box to get the blue dots and you should be able to drag the left blue dot to the left until you can see your text. That's because my font is so large. So let's just double click. I'm just gonna highlight my text and make my font smaller because I only really need a 12 point font here. Um, and now it fits onto the spine. If you want to shift it a little bit to the center, it's easiest to use the arrow keys on your keyboard just to, for a very fine movement. Um, and that's now centered on the spine. If you don't have a text box on the page or you've deleted it, you can add a new text box. Um, you can then type in your text. I'm just gonna make this text smaller again because it's a little bit big for the spine. And I'll just make it black so it's easier to read. Okay, and down the bottom here where we've got our left to right, you can actually choose vertical. And what that does is just flips it to the side like that. Um, I can then drag it to the tech, to the spine and there it is, perfect. All right, um, it doesn't look like we have any other questions for today. Um, so I'll just do a quick recap of what we've talked about. Um, oh, excuse me. One second, I will get to the right place, place. So we've talked about adding text, how to add a text box to the page and moving and resizing your text box. Formatting text, choosing your font size and color, um, spacing and aligning text and um, adding, a, uh, adding a background color. I didn't talk about adding a border, but you can do it in the same way as you add a color um, to the box. Um, saving your text style, how to save a default text style, and then proofreading by using the Zoom feature or creating proofs. So just my usual speech before you go, don't forget you are welcome to call our customer service team if you need any assistance. We're here Monday to Friday, 9 to 5.30 Melbourne time. Our phone number is 1300 553 448. You can also reach us by email, which is service at albumworks.com.au um, or you can talk to us via live chat from our website. Uh, and you can have a look on our website, www.albumworks.com.au to view our current promotion uh, to save on your next photo book. And there are also five fo HD photo books to be won, each valued at $250. So you can enter our competition there both the promotion and competition finished tonight. Uh, it is business as usual with Albumworks production. We're still here making your photo books. There may be a slight delay in delivery times, which you can read about on our website. Thanks again for joining us and look forward to having you here again on Friday at the same time. If you have missed any of our past webinars and want to have a look at them, you can uh, go to our FAQs on our website and the web webinars are all there. Thanks again. Take care. Bye.